groundbreaking ceremony was held today right on Genesee Street in Utica. Our Eyewitness News reporter Jessica Landman has that story. As part of the Downtown Revitalization Initiative in Utica, Munson Art Museum was granted funds and began groundbreaking today to bring their art outside to the lawn next to Fountain Elms on Genesee Street. This ADA Accessibility and Landscape Transformation Project reflects Munson's enduring commitment to our Founder's vision to providing, accessible, ac to providing access to everyone in our community, no matter who they are and no matter their physical uh, limitations. And with this ADA project and converting this beautiful lawn into a stunning, warm, and welcoming garden, we will be providing that for our neighbors, our city, our community for generations to come. There has, is so much thought that has been going into this, not only to make it accessible to our entire neighborhood and community, but so that it is a catalyst for the wonderful revitalization that's going on across our city. And we are just so proud at Munson to be part of this community in Utica, and we hope that our project Transforming this landscape into a welcoming garden will just be another catalyst for our Oneida Square neighborhood. With construction just beginning on the new project, not only will this benefit Munson Art Museum, but it will bring beauty to Genesee Street and downtown Utica as a whole. Reporting in Utica, I'm Jessica Landman, Eyewitness News. For more of the latest in local news, weather, and sports, be sure to check out our website, cnyhomepage.com. All right, Tim, so... This uh, rainy, sleety weather sticking around, huh? <laughs> you got it right, Shelby. Rain first, and then we got to deal with the sleety stuff as we head towards Saturday. In the meantime, your eyewitness news Doppler radar showing the heavy rain last hour on top of the building. Now in northern Herkimer County, there's more to come. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with your eyewitness news Saturday forecast coming up right after this.